Professor George Munsami, food technologist. Professor George Sami was a pioneer in the field of food production and was well respected in the agricultural sector in Trinidad and Tobago and indeed the Caribbean. His work provided the stimulus needed to promote agricultural based industries which were on the decline due to the growth of the energy sector. His dedication led to the establishment of the Caribbean Institute of Food, Science and Technology. Born into a poor family on November 17, 1922 in Duncan Village, South Trinidad, George Sami did not let his family standing determine his destiny. As a young boy, he labored at Union Hall, a sugarcane estate, and sold produce on the streets in order to help support his family. He managed to attend the Canaan Canadian Mission School until the age of 14, but was unable to attend a secondary school. He was, however, determined to satisfy his thirst for knowledge. While working full-time as an apprentice tailor, he enrolled in a home study program in French, chemistry and mathematics. His passion for chemistry was later rekindled while working as a lab assistant at Texaco. In 1954, at the age of 32, he passed the matriculation examination and was accepted by the University of London, Sir John Cass College. Three years later, he graduated with honors in chemistry and returned home. Soon afterwards, he took up the position of chemist at the Texaco Refinery Laboratory, later being promoted to research chemist. In 1965, he became a lecturer at the University of the West Indies, St. Augustine. He earned his PhD in physical organic chemistry in 1967. His interest soon shifted to food chemistry and he completed a master's in science in food science and technology at the University of Massachusetts, USA. Upon returning to the University of the West Indies, he introduced new courses in this discipline and he later established the Food Technology Unit. He became the first professor in food technology in 1977 and formed a research school with over 30 postgraduate students. In an effort to stimulate agricultural production and agro-industries, he ran summer courses which trained over 1,000 persons in the handling, storage, marketing and preservation of local produce. He also educated farmers on canning, bottling, preservation and processing techniques. He was passionate about the development of technologies that made optimum use of local fruits and vegetables. He created a blend of sweet potato and wheat flour intended to reduce the country's flour import bill. He also developed a sorrel concentrate with a long shelf life and formulated and canned a local fruit cocktail. He made the instant dehydrated yam used in Barbados. For his many contributions, the government of Trinidad and Tobago awarded him the Hummingbird Medal Gold in 1974 and the Shaconia Medal Gold posthumously in 1988. Outside of his academic life, George Sami was a nature lover. He started the Trinidad and Tobago Tropical Fish Association and he owned an extensive collection of butterflies. He began a hybridization orchid program, successfully registering three new orchid varieties with the International Orchid Society. Professor George Sami laid the groundwork for our region to achieve greater self-sufficiency in food, but the full potential of his research is yet to be fully realized.